I didn't want to go, but she kept telling me that it would mean so much to her, so I told her I would try, even though he was in college and I was only in high school. Neither of us talked for the entire ride, and it wasn't until we were in the mountains that I noticed we were not going to the movies. Then I noticed how fast he was going. We were flying down the road, and he showed no sign of slowing down. I said, slow down, you're going too fast. But he just ignored me, and then... We crept out slowly, trying not to tip it any more over the edge. Then we were out. There were no phone booths around. We were stuck in the middle of nowhere, and I was with a good-for-nothing jerk. Then a group of guys who had been at the party found us. They shouted and pointed at the seesawing car, saying... Dudes, did you see that? Oh man, that's so cool! Look at that car! Half went into the ravine below while the other half stayed above, and they pushed and pulled that car back onto the road. It was the strangest thing I had seen, but then again, that night was full of strange things already. When they were done, we thanked them, then hopped into the car and continued on our way back to my house. When he finally dropped me off, I smiled back at him as he pulled out of the driveway. Not because I had had a good time, but because I knew for a fact that I would never have to see him ever again.